Hi there, this is Dr. Friesen, and this video will teach you how to conduct a one-way ANOVA. A one-way ANOVA is a useful test when you have a dependent variable that is continuous and an independent variable that has three or more categories. To conduct this test, click Analyze, Compare Means, One-Way ANOVA, in this case, I'm looking at time as my dependent variable, time to study for a test. And I have a group here that are my independent variables. In SPSS, they're called factors, but it's in fact your independent variable. Then I'd like you to press post hoc and choose CIDIC. CIDIC is a post hoc that'll help you find your differences among the three or more groups. Press OK. And under options, I'd like you to press descriptive, and that will pull out your means so you can visually see and report your means. Press OK. You will first see your descriptives listed here. These are the means of the three groups, textbook, textbook with illustrations and video, and the amount of time the students spent studying in those various three options. Down here is your ANOVA test, and this tells you where the this tells you where the difference is among the three groups that there's a difference in one of them or more. And in this case, your significance here is less than 0.05, so that tells you there's a difference somewhere among the three groups. You just don't know where yet at this point. You will also report your F value, your SIG value, and your degrees of freedom when you report it. You come down here to your CIDIC test, it's a post hoc test, and here you'll compare your three groups. So you have text, text with illustrations, and video. And you'll notice that there is a, an asterisk. When there is an asterisk, it's telling you there's a difference between this group and this particular group over here. So textbook and textbook with illustrations, there's a significant difference. And this SIG you'll report when you uh, write your results. So if you go up here, you can see the textbook took students 97.63 minutes, whereas the textbook with illustrations took them 92 minutes. So it's visually different, but this number down here tells us it's significantly different. Moving on, we now compare textbook with illustrations with text, and you're going to see that this is the same mirror image, so you can ignore this. It's, this table re, uh, produces duplicate information, but you are going to want to look at this next one, text with video. Textbook and the video have an asterisk here, and that indicates that there's a significant difference as well between those two groups. The p-value is less than 0.05. And when you go back up to your table up here, you can see the textbook took students 97.63 minutes, while the video took them 89.77 minutes. So visually it's different, but here this post hoc test tells us right here that it is significantly different. And on the last comparison, you have textbook with illustrations and the video, and you see that there is no asterisk here. The p-value is above 0.05, so that tells us that there is no significant difference between those groups. Now, when you look at the groups, the numbers are video was 89.77 minutes and textbook was 92 minutes. So it is visually different, but this, this post hoc test tells us that there is no significant difference out in the population.